Hair Care USA. So today we are going to be making um, actually two dishes that I've already made before. Um, but this was a request because it came out so well. So Junie would like for me to make the um, pesto pasta that I made the other night. And then for the kids, I'm making some spaghetti. No meatballs, just regular um, ground meat, which we normally use ground turkey, but I said tonight I'll use some ground meat. So what I have here is I have my chicken. I actually got some chicken tenderloins. I'm just going to cut these up and make the chicken. All right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, I'm going to see if I can try this trick. Huh? Um, in like in like one minute, get the um the stuff at the door, please. So I just took out the little tendon out of real one. So wait a minute. Oh, um, I took out the little tendon out of the chicken tenderloins. Where all you do is you put a fork, cash. It's not the easiest thing to do, but you take that out. And then just put our little chicken in there. Go ahead. Yeah. This is always the hardest part. Hi, <clears throat> yi. Of course, my last one. Oh, this really isn't the last one, but this one would give me the most trouble. Put the, um, forget it. Put the, um, yeah. The reason I don't like doing it this way is because you lose a lot of meat. one gives me some trouble or not hopefully not So that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my chicken breasts. So I'm just gonna do those. And I did take out some salt, but I didn't do it. And then we're gonna use some salt. So I'm just letting my, cleaning my chicken breast. If you don't have any lemon or vinegar, you can use salt and water. It works just the same. These are just gonna go inside of a Ziploc bag. So I'm not gonna use all of them. So there's our chicken breast. Hey, Jonna, what about the orange juice? That don't count. All right, so for our chicken breast, I'm gonna go ahead and season it with some black pepper. The, the orange juice don't count. <laughs> Um, today we're going to actually add some cayenne pepper to this as well. Thank you. So I 
on some cayenne. He likes his with a little kick, so this is for Junie anyway. We'll add some paprika. And then I'm also gonna use some of the dry moon spice. Anytime I go to use it, I always shake it up. Okay, so I'm gonna use some dry moon spice rather than the wet moon spice. And remember, it doesn't have a ton of salt. So with the moon spice, you can be generous, but if you like to add salt, you can as well. Okay, so I did a, a little bit of a, a little of a tablespoon in there. Okay, I'm not gonna add um, any aromatics to this because I'm going to be frying this first and I don't want to burn the bottom of my pan. I'm not gonna be using my cast iron today. I'm just gonna be using a regular skillet. So I'm just mixing this up so that everybody gets a little bit of seasoning on it. Okay, so that's our chicken breast. So we're gonna set that to the side. Bless me. Hey Grace, hey dad. So Moon Spice has officially made it to the US. It's going through customs right now. So it will be ready very, very soon. All right, so we're gonna be using ground beef tonight. What I'm gonna do is I am going to put this in the pot, but we're also going to season our ground beef while it's in the pot. So we'll be using bay leaves, green season, which is Caribbean green season. Um, I have my pesto for my chicken, so that'll stay over there. We're also gonna use some moon spice, which is the original moon spice, the wet one, okay? Um, then of course our paprika, a little bit of cayenne, and then we'll also be using some sugar in tonight's spaghetti as well. And then of course we're gonna be using fresh pasta. I actually like the fresh pasta. It tastes a lot better. Hey, Rasta, don't do that. I just said be quiet. <laughs> Prince he is so slick, he's not. All right, so I'm gonna cut up three cloves of garlic and just kind of smash it. My pan is already on the stove for the ground meat, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. And then this is gonna go into our pan as well. For tonight's sauce, I'm using Bertoli Organic um, for my spaghetti. And I'm giving my garlic a rough chop, you guys. Just a little rough chop. Okay. That is all. All right. So we are going to go ahead and move over to our stove. I hope you guys are ready for tonight's relaunch of the Body Care site. It relaunches at midnight. But remember... For my YouTube family, you guys get dibs on the relaunch starting at 11.35 tonight. So you don't even have to wait until midnight at 11.35. You guys will be able to shop the relaunch. Yes, 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 and yes. Okay, so get ready. Get ready, get ready. All right, so I am going to grab some olive oil. Uh, some olive oil here, which I just bought this big one. So we're going to put a little olive oil in our pan. Um, I already pre-boiled my water for the um, pasta. So that's already basically boiled and warm. So when I'm ready to put my pasta in there, I'll just drop it in and just start the boil process. Okay, so this is our Dutch pot. You guys know I'm a Dutch butter. And then I have this skillet for our chicken breasts. So we'll be doing two things at once tonight, which isn't that complicated. Um, I did not put a lot of oil in here on purpose. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drop my garlic in there so that he starts to spray up my oil. And then I have my metal spoon here. Gonna start fragrancing our oil. I'm not gonna burn my garlic at all. 
It can also give you like this really bitter taste. And then I'll go ahead and drop in my ground beef. seasoning our ground beef. So I'm going to go ahead and put some black pepper. Some cayenne. And some paprika. We have our bay leaf. So we'll just put in one. We have our green peas in. Okay, so this is our Caribbean green seasoning. Got a nice heaping tablespoon. And then we'll be using our moon spice, the wet version, which is the original. Nice block. About maybe a tablespoon. That's more than enough for what we're doing. So then I'm just gonna go ahead and start mixing this baby up. gonna come over to our skillet here for our chicken breast which is really just chicken tenderloins I will start those I do already have some olive oil in the pot so this won't take very long Turn that one off. I just switched it to this back burner here on purpose. So it's a wider burner. And then in the meantime, what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and get my pesto ready. So I have my pesto. Wine. The cooking wine is what we're going to use to um, deglaze our pan. So I'm going to put my pesto into my bowl here. See how that looks? Come on now, come on. 
So I'm just making sure that my meat is cooked. And I'm actually not even going to strain off this oil. I don't want water, but I'll take a little bit of oil in from there. You guys could smell this. What kind of pan is that? This is called a Dutch pot. If you click the link in the description box, which is the first link you see, that will take you to my Amazon store where you can get three different sizes of this pot in one big combo. And it's a nice heavy pot. So it's great for stew, frying. You can do this, use this for almost anything. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my sauce in. If you wanna strain off the oil, you can, I'm not. This is my pesto and my moon spice together. I'm gonna go ahead and add some black pepper to this. A little more pepper, just a little. I'm not gonna add any more cayenne. And then I have my cooking wine. And I'll add my bay leaf. Okay. So I'm going to add a little bit of baking soda to my spaghetti and it's building up its oil. So this way, now I'm going to go ahead and skim off some of the oil. I see like a like a huge oil pocket it's not much just a little let me turn it 
turn the stove down because it's going to start popping in my face. All right, so I'm going to add a little bit of baking soda to it. You don't want to go past a tablespoon, maybe a little less or more. Your choice. Baking soda helps to neutralize a lot of the acidity in your um, tomato sauce, but if you use too much, it can change the taste. So you have to be very careful when you put all that baking soda in there. You can also use carrots, as I said before. Um, carrots does it as well. Sweetness also does it. I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar, but I'm gonna taste it first. I'm just gonna let my baking soda kinda get through it first and then I'll taste it. So once you see all of these bubbles kinda go away, then you can do what you have to do. So that's gonna happen with that. That's that. So I'm going to go ahead and take my chicken out of here. I'm just going to put it here and let it rest on the setting board. So let it do its thing. So let it rest before you cut it. Very important. And then I'm going to turn this down. I have my white wine, my white cooking wine. Now I'm going to put my pesto in here. So I'm making two different dishes, but I'm only making one pan of pasta. Turn it down. So one thing that I did the last time is I allowed it to cook down a little too long. Um, and then I ended up with not enough sauce. So I am not going to be cooking this down for too long. I'm gonna add the rest of my white wine. I'm not gonna let it reduce. Just letting my chicken rest for a second. Let this get nice and warm. here and then I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on for my pasta. Pasta water is there. I'm gonna add some pink and salt to the water. water boil up real quick right there's 200 and something people on here but I don't see a ton of thumbs up and I'm not sure why all right so if you guys tell all of that froth from the baking soda is now gone so I'm gonna turn this down because we don't need it high anymore pink Himalayan salt you guys so it's not like it's not making it salty whatsoever all right so I'm gonna go ahead and add my sugar you add as much or as little as you like or much or as yeah I said all right as much or as little as you want we like sugar it tastes nice some brown sugar you can use white sugar whatever you want to use you use 
So this is two eighths of a cup of sugar. That's good. If you want yours super sweet, then you can add a, a bunch more. I don't want it super sweet. Just a hint of sugar is good. I feel like I should have had more ground meat, but oh well. All right, so I'm gonna let that continue to cook. Even though it's definitely done, I'm just gonna let that sugar evaporate, everything kind of combine itself. By then, within that four minutes of cooking the um, pasta, we're ready. So we have both of our sauces ready, okay, both. So I'm gonna bring you guys back over here with me. And then what I'm also gonna do is when I add my chicken back into the pot, I'm going to also add some spinach into the pot. So I don't need any more seasonings, so those can go. Seasonings are good. Put my sugar back. Crystal, come here. Son. What's wrong with you? Are you trying to say I'm bothering you? Okay, dinner soon done. Relax your mind. Put these in the fridge. Hold it properly and put it in the fridge. And then put these in the cabinet um, next to the vinegar. This is a good boy. Easy. Easy. All right, so for my chicken, I'm just gonna go ahead and give it some nice rough chops. Son, put the two oil back in the cabinet by the vinegar, please. Mm. So we're gonna leave it nice and big because he likes his chunky. See, chicken breast is done. Okay. I'm gonna taste it. Mm-hmm. not take long to cook okay so I'm gonna also add some spinach to my sauce I know y'all want to see so let me just bring y'all over here I'm gonna just give you a little little vision for a second okay so I just put spinach in there I turned it to medium low Add my chicken back in there. Remember, the chicken is already cooked. I think I'm gonna eat another piece. That chicken is good. Mm hmm. Chicken nice. Not a. That's all you gotta do, nothing more. Okay, so our sauce and chicken is ready. I'm gonna cover that up, keep it on low. Our water is ready, so I'm gonna put you guys back over here. I'm gonna put you guys back over here so I can put my pasta in the water and then we're gonna count down for four seconds or four minutes. So today I'm using some butoni. Man, that chicken was nice. I should have made chicken. Mm -hmm. Should have definitely made chicken. All right, so we have our pasta here. I'm just opening it up. And then I'm going to break it. I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm not gonna use so much this time. 
Huh? Want something to drink? I think I end up having to use it all. Go ahead, get some drink. All right, so it's 8.05 and 8.09. I'm going to take it off the stove. Sure. No, dinner's ready. Dinner's almost ready. Uh-uh. Can I have something to drink? That's it. chicken breasts or chicken tenderloins that's left they're gonna go into this bag Welcome. keep the cup because you're gonna drink it for like, um, dinner anyway mm. thank you daddy Put these back, put this in the freezer. So this is how you want your spinach to look. You don't want your spinach to be obsolete. So that's why I put it in raw while this while the slice was just hot so that you still actually look like you have spinach in your food, okay? Now, if you want it to disappear, then you can cook it and cook it and cook it. I didn't do that this time. So this sauce is as soon as the pasta is done, I'm gonna drop it in the sauce, mix it up and put it on the plate. All right, let me check on my spaghetti. Or my meat sauce. Give it another minute or so. Now I've been on live 34 minutes. It took me about 40 minutes max to make dinner. Two different meals. Oh, and good hairstyles with your good cook smile. And <laughs> thank you, Barbados.
going to go ahead and turn that one off. Turn that one off. Still too al dente for me. I'll give it another minute or two. You got your body care package? Yes. Octavia, how does it smell? Can you tell us all how it smells and which ones did you get? Tell us which ones you got and how does it smell? So Octavia is about to spread the love. Tell us which one she got and how does it smell? That's why I sent you a message, Crystal. Let me see. I'm sorry, Grace. I did not look. I did get a ding and didn't even look. Okay. I shall send that right now. And I don't think anyone signed for it, Grace. I don't think anyone signed for it because it said USPS. I ordered another one, but <laughs> this one didn't really say anything. All right, let me check now. I think our noodles are done. don't need any pasta water. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my noodles in here. Pesto pasta. Mm. Pesto pasta. Mm. Pesto pasta. Yeah, I'm going to do it first. So we're going to let that absorb some of the sauce. So I'm going to plate that in just a second. meat sauce over and we're going to put the rest of our pasta in here which it might not even be that much i, I might have i probably should have used a little bit more oh well can't do anything about it to go to restaurants and they give you this dry ass pasta. Y'all see that? Come on now. I think I can, I can do it without that. Can you tell how long this Dutch pot has been around? Because you see, it, it has no balance on it anymore. And I'm not throwing it away. I'm not buying a new one. This, this pot was well seasoned. I'm sorry. Mm -mm. Hey. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, you guys. <laughs> I 
Let's go ahead and plate. <laughs> I don't know how I like to plate. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and put our pesto pasta in the plate. chicken on the inside there so it doesn't look like you don't have any chicken because he loves chicken oh no bay leaf but you guys can see the spinach in there as well you see that mm -hmm. and the last time i made it he's like you didn't make enough for seconds i did not so now you have enough for seconds thirds fifths whatever There we are. Pesto pasta. All right. Hey guys. Go girls, time to eat. We we eat from paper plates because my I wash the extra plates, but as a man, he does not eat all the paper plates. Not even my father used to eat out of a paper plate. Mm -mm. I feel like men are not supposed to eat out of paper plates. You need to give them all this food in a plate. Paper, you go. Mm. Ready to eat? Mm -hmm. <coughs> Thank you. All right, so. Why are y'all looking so tired? You tired? Mm -hmm. Hungry? Where is Adriana? Uh, she's in the As usual. You want more than that? Okay. You want more? Okay. So there is Alex. Okay. Enjoy. Bon appetit. Let me share Christian because I know he said he was hungry. So this is Christian's. Mm -hmm. huh? yeah, yeah, I'm hungry. Cannot wait. So that is Christian's. Oh, he has a bay leaf in his table. He's gonna look at me crazy like, mom, what is that? So there's Christian. I, I like paper plates. I like anything that doesn't require extra, extra dishes. I don't know. Tell Adriana, let's go. You guys want spaghetti for school? Mm -hmm. Give me your bowls when you tell Adriana, let's go. There's Adriana. Can I overnight you a plate? <laughs> this is my plate. Give me your, your bowls, Alex. Christian doesn't have to um, bring lunch tomorrow, just you guys. I guess I have to save some for you to actually bring to school, don't I? This is my plate. I want sauce. Sauce for the food. And I put sugar in it for you. Not a ton. You want a table? Alex does not like a ton of sugar. Taste yours to see if, you, if it's too sugary for you. Okay, I can wait. What am I just saying? Oh, yes, I'm going to taste it. Go taste it right now. It's okay. <laughs> Is that okay? Mm -hmm. It's not too sweet. Is it to your liking, boss? It's a tiny bit. You're lucky. Tiny. You bring us spaghetti tomorrow? Yes, ma'am. Oh, you're here? You, did you hear? No. Don't worry, I left tons of meat sauce for you guys, not on purpose. So, we're eating, we're vegetarians. There's Since no meat today. Today, we're vegetarians. I didn't put any meat. The meat lost. It got lost. Eat your food. 
There's children right now that have no, no food. That's not eating. Us not eating it. We're going to eat it anyway. Well, us not eating it anyway is not going to affect the population of hungry Hi, kids. Go sit down and have my food. If there's no meat, there's no meat. You understand? Meat expensive. You're lucky. You got pasta, right? See your plate here, little girl. There's sauce. Name of food. There's no meat. Thank God, say I have food. All of these are sauce and noodles. Thank the Lord. You see how time's hard? How it tastes to you? You need meat? There is meat. That's how bright you are. You're not a man as there's ground beef in there. It needs more. The child tells me it needs more. Put extra ice in mine, please. Okay. Here, Christian cup right here. You don't need another cup. Okay. Stop with the cooking videos that I'm not sharing. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> All right, there's your lunch, guys. Yeah. Wait till she tell you how she used to carry water in a bucket. I'm trying to tell you. Listen, you don't yeah. see this? Yeah. I used to go to school with no shoes and everything. Y'all right yeah. talking about me? <laughs> I had no shoes, no nothing. Y'all right talking about me? You didn't go to school with shoes. Who no lucky? That's not clumsy. All of them was <laughs> All of there was no meat if you picked on God's help food. <laughs> Thank you, guys. All right, you guys, get yourselves prepared. 11.35, the Body Cares to be launched is at 11.35. Also, the Halloween sale is tonight starting at 11.30. Use code SPOOKY. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Use code SPOOKY on the hair care site and you'll save 40% off your purchase. No codes can be used on the body care site because there is no code. And of course, your purchase over $50 on the body care site, you get a free gift. Over $30 on the body care site is free shipping. On the hair care site, use code SPOOKY to save 40% off between today at 11.30 and 11.59 um, p.m. Halloween night. And then, of course, any purchase over $150 in the continental U.S. gets free shipping. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys laughed with us. I'm going to go and eat my dinner and enjoy, but I hope you guys do as well. And I'll be up tonight, so I'll see you guys on the body care and the hair care site.